Hello, Health Sciences students and faculty. My name is Dr. Colin Chesley, and I'm the Associate Vice President of the College of Health and Public Services here at Daytona State College. I want to warmly invite and welcome you to our Health Career Expo this spring semester. We would like for you to join us here in Health Sciences Hall on our Daytona Beach campus to experience a number of our health-related programs, to visit the classrooms and labs, and to participate in skill-building, active learning sessions in each of the programs and professions. We want to introduce you to the interdisciplinary healthcare team to experience the professions firsthand and to get an idea of what it would be like to work in that field. We have a full day schedule ready for you to participate in each of these programs. Health Sciences Hall is located directly east or behind Halifax Medical Center. When you arrive on campus, please park in any space indicated on this map and come straight to Health Sciences Hall or Building 320. We will meet you here in the lobby of Health Sciences Hall to assign you to a group and to give you a schedule for the day. Please arrive on time so that you can be placed in a group and enjoy all that we have to offer. You'll be spending approximately 20 minutes in each program area working with our faculty members and our students to actively learn about that profession. Don't worry, lunch is included and will be provided for you. This is our medical coder builder classroom. Every time a physician or clinician sees a patient, they need to record what they have seen and done. Medical coders and billers don't see patients, but they do ensure records are correct, that clinical notes are coded and documented properly, and they work with insurance companies to get paid. Here you will learn how the clinical functions and administrative functions of healthcare intersect. Respiratory therapists care for patients who have trouble breathing, for example, from a chronic respiratory disease such as asthma or emphysema. Their patients range from premature infants with undeveloped lungs all the way to elderly patients who have diseased lungs and everything in between. They also provide emergency care to patients suffering from heart attacks, drowning, or shock. RTs work in hospitals primarily, followed by skilled nursing facilities and even some physician offices. Many times when you go for a medical appointment, it's the certified medical assistant who prepares the room and equipment, gets your vital signs, assists with the exam, and then ultimately enters your patient information. They can even provide injections, draw blood, and prepare other samples for lab work. They may also work in many of the administrative functions of the office. CMA is the third fastest growing profession in the state of Florida. As I mentioned earlier, the College of Health and Public Services includes the School of Dental Sciences. We do want to briefly introduce you to dental assisting. Dental assistants have many tasks, including patient care, record keeping, and appointment scheduling. Dental assistants often spend much of their day working closely with patients and dentists. For example, dental assistants might take a patient's medical history, blood pressure, and pulse before a procedure, explain what will be done, and talk to patients about oral care. Have you ever watched a TV show where they were in the operating room performing a surgery? You may think that all of those people assisting the surgeon are nurses, but they're not. Some of them are surgical technologists. Surgical technologists assist with operations. They prepare operating rooms, arrange equipment, and help doctors during surgeries. Before an operation, surgical technologists prepare the operating room by setting up surgical instruments and equipment. During an operation, Surgical technologists pass the sterile instruments and supplies to surgeons. They might hold retractors, hold internal organs in place during the procedure, or set up robotic surgical equipment. Radiologic technologists, also known as radiographers, perform x-rays and other diagnostic imaging examinations on patients. Rad techs are trained in the use of different types of medical diagnostic equipment. They may choose to specialize, such as in x-ray, mammography, or CT imaging. Some techs provide a mixture for the patient to drink or give injections that allow soft tissue to be viewed on the images that the radiologist reviews. Occupational therapy assistants, or OTAs, collaborate with occupational therapists to develop and carry out a treatment plan for each patient, helping them regain motor skills. Plans include activities of daily living or ADLs, such as bathing, dressing, toileting, and generally caring for their own needs. OTAs also may work with people who have learning disabilities, teaching them the skills that allow them to be more independent. 
Physical therapist assistants, on the other hand, sometimes called PTAs, work under the direction and supervision of physical therapists. They help patients with mobility and ambulation who are recovering from injuries and illnesses to regain movement and manage pain. PTAs treat patients through exercise, massage, gait and balance training, and other therapeutic interventions. Emergency medical technicians or EMTs and paramedics care for the sick or injured in emergency medical settings. People's lives are often at stake and depend on the quick reaction and competent care provided by these workers. EMTs and paramedics respond to emergency calls, performing medical services, and transporting patients to medical facilities. And finally, nursing. Registered nurses or RNs provide and coordinate patient care, educate patients and the public about various health conditions, and provide advice and emotional support to patients and their families. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief orientation and that you are excited to come and spend the day working and learning in each of these programs and professions. Look, no matter where you attend school after high school, please come and experience a taste of what each of these programs in our interdisciplinary health professions can offer you. See you soon.